We are on the way to buy some air ride for the Audi Esprit. We are buying it second hand. It's a three hour drive away. Let's get straight on the road. The deal is done. As of yet, I haven't actually put a video of the new S3 on the channel. Don't worry, it's all coming soon. This is more of a garage video today. As you can tell by the thumbnail on the tail, we are doing garage mods. Later in this episode, I'm going to be explaining why I've made the switch from the Nissan GTR back into a Volkswagen Audi Group car. Here is my kit that I've bought. So, second hand struts and bags. There's a set of rears. There's the shock, the damper and the airbag and the top mount. I bought second-hand bags and struts and I'll show you exactly why back in the garage in the next clip. Yeah, I've just filmed two full clips that were massive rants about the last video that I put up. The comment section was a minefield. I'm gonna do it real short because this is all... Excuse me, stop fighting. Stop fighting, none of that. I'm gonna do this real quick. Everyone who commented in the video, going hard on the stud wall that I put to divide my garage. I love it and it's staying, just know that. So let's get straight into this. The first thing I've got to show you in today's video is why the hell I've only bought the shocks for my air ride system. So in this box is the GTR management, which is the brain of air ride. This has all your lines, what all your air goes into. My compressor, which is in there, and all the lines and the wire and loom. So everything that ran the Nissan GTR Air Ride is in this box. Oh my God, I just walked in the door. That literally took nine hours. Bright and early, day two of the vlog. I'm gonna start with a nice, easy piece of wood. This piece of trim. Let's get it measured, cut, and installed and then we're gonna move on. I've wrote a list, as you can see here, of all the stuff I'm gonna to do to the garage today. Sit tight, get yourself a brew, it's gonna be good. Okay, little chill piece. Nice and early, Sunday morning, and the first piece is in, check it. A famous quote in the building world, measure twice, cut once. I never forgot that one. 84.7. Jeez. Okay, roof strips, done. Roof looks nice, complete again. You can't see it, I'm gonna turn the lights off. I'm gonna turn a row of lights off. So you can see what I've done. Okay, you should be able to see this now, check it. So I put one strip on, and I put that little strip in there, which means the roof's a little bit cleaner than it was when I'd moved all the lights around. Okay, skirting boards. So we've got these massive skirting boards. These have been in, ready for my house for a long, long time. What I will say is they're not gonna match the skirting boards on this side. But I will also add that I don't really care that much. I think it's going to look okay. Okay, so these are my skirting boards that I'm going to be using today. Had these quite a while. Just not installed them yet. Nice. Obviously, they're just going on a flat wall. The finale. This has actually gone pretty smooth for a Sunday morning. Decided to prioritise getting my garage done. so I can mod some bikes and cars for the channel. Sick little trim there on the stud wall. Garage is starting to look like a chilled space to do some detailing. I want this to be a detail and dedicated area versus a free-for-all. Looks pretty chilled. Now, this brings me on to the next 
part of today's puzzle, which is what colour to paint this wall. We've got wall paint, matte black, wall paint, light grey, wall and ceilings, rich black, feature wall, urban obsession. You know what I'm thinking? I've got quite a lot of black. I wouldn't have to buy any paint. I could just get on with it right now and it'll cover up this writing. Long term, I either want to wallpaper this wall, take the boards off and put actual floorboards on it, or I might use some sort of like t fake tile effect slate things on it or something, something to make it look really cool. Something just just add like a bit of texture. This has been put up as like a temporary wall just to see if I like having the space divided, which I already love, I'm going to be honest. So I think this is going to stay like this. Um, behind this wall is ultimate chaos. Organised chaos, but it's a nice space to put all my, all my things. Um, so I am looking for an alternative, but I think what I might do today is paint this black. A second coat on the wall. I'm not actually that into black and stuff out anymore. At this point I prefer brighter colours but it's in the garage. I've got a roller, I've got black paint, it fits the rest of the theme. I just thought you know what let's do it. But I had forgot how insane it is to paint black. I'll show you where I'm up to. I've done two coats on the board all the way from the door all the way until about that last board as you can see. The base coat I used the cheaper paint and then the top coat I used the deluxe paint which is pretty sick. Second coat always seems to just finalise the deal, especially on a solid bold colour like black. A lot of people on design shows are using navy, but I'm not really a navy guy myself. It does seem to be that the dark colours with plants are properly in though. All done, as you can see, the wall is black as. To be honest, now that I've painted it, I actually reckon it looks pretty sick. As you can see, skirting boards are on and painted. Looks pretty impressive. Pit stop, we are at. No other than B&Q. Um, I'm going to try and find some nice thin trims to paint black and put on the roof to hide the rough top on the OSB boards. Okay, it is the first DIY trip in the S3. Looking pretty sick. I'm going to try and keep them as stable as possible and upright so they don't scratch my dashboard. Um, this is the first DIY trip in the S3. Pretty chilled. Um, these are only like four quid each, so they'll clean up the garage. So for like 16 quid. My new strips have been painted on the tops. They're going to then be installed up along here in a minute, which will be pretty cool. Right now, I'm eating flaming hot giant wassets and party rings and a brew. I'm having a good Sunday. All right, so I've put my strip in. I've just painted the underside of the strip. And it goes all the way around, looks way cleaner. Looks dialed at the top now, check it little edge there and then you don't see any of them cut OSB boards and I think it looks great. Alright my beautiful people this is what an empty workspace looks like and should look like. Look at this place nice fresh empty garage. I can put these here I just couldn't do this without that wall. My brain just feels so clear now that the space is clear. What else can I say? Smash the like button if you're excited for the content.
there's actually still a lot of space in here my face don't lie I thought it was going to be a little bit tighter than it is Jesus that's sick I'm hyped on that let me spin you around so check it all the way around for all the people who said that you couldn't open a door fully Jeez. So obviously bear in mind when you're detailing we might do it with the back end with the car to the left and focus on the right side of the car and then flip it round. To be honest I would pretty much always just put it nose in first for the ease of pulling the car into the garage. There's a lot of space still for everyone who said that there wouldn't be. Damn. Looking good. I like it. I like it a lot. And that right there is going to conclude today's DIY garage vlog. As you can see, this thing is finished. As you can see, I've got loads of mods to do to get this bad boy as cool as my Golf and my GTR. Um, for those people who already are probably going to give me grief and hell over selling the GTI. You never keep the same car. I'm just like most people who buy and sell their cars, who swap their cars every year, two, three years. I had the GTR for 14 months. I absolutely loved it, but I missed the Volkswagen Audi Group style cars. The Golf R was a better car to be in daily. The GTR was a better Sunday car. Unfortunately, I only want one car. I don't want two cars. And I don't want to drive a GTR every day. So I made the executive decision to get back in to something that's a bit more of a daily. And that is going to be the end of today's episode. Smash the like button. Get involved in the comments below. You know what to do. And thanks for watching. As always, tune back in for the mods this week. What we're going to do to the Audi S3. And make sure you tune back in for any MTB up and coming vlogs. I've actually got roof bars to go on these flush rails which is going to make mountain biking a lot easier the gtr just did not work with the mountain bike situation at all so loads to come get involved on the channel this is probably a terrible idea but i was going to do a little owner push i was going to do a little owner push on one of our brand new burgundy national patch hoodies except it's full of black paint I wrecked a hoodie but there you go get involved go to my website ownerofficial.com or google owner don't forget we have got a crazy deal right now on the store which is a free t-shirt with any hoodie or jacket go and check it out add your favorite hoodie add your favorite t-shirt to the basket and you'll get the t-shirt completely free with every hoodie that you order thanks for the support and i'll see you guys next time peace out